Yeah, okay, enough. this is a thing. Um, I agree. So, if we're going to be watching a very odd show that I've seen about less than a minute of, and that's uh, all you really need. Yeah, you want you want to start us off on this one? Like, introduce yourself and the show. So, on on YouTube, my name is Potate, and I don't do much of anything on there. And this show, it's. A very a very special Adult Swim show that I remember watching when I was like thirteen, in at like four in the morning in this sleepless days. This show <laughs> would come on and would warp my entire perception of reality, and then I would wake up. It it's horribly animated and has almost no sound design whatsoever. Characters cut each other off all the time they replay sound effects and animations from several episodes back that have no context or meaning <laughs> in the current episode it and it amazing. really it really adds to the charm and the main character uh, I was struggling I have always struggled very hard to decide what he is the best thing I've ever heard to, to describe him is a Indian, like tribal Indian healer mixed with a beach surfer dude. So I guess yeah, we'll be seeing that momentarily. Um, so yeah. as with any other Let's Watch, if you are joining, uh, you're not going to be seeing the actual video here because otherwise it would get removed from YouTube. So you'll need Even to find every the episode. episode's on YouTube. Um. Hmm. Every episode is on YouTube, but if you put it up, it'll probably get removed. Oh, yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> are they uploaded by Adult Swim, or is it just by, like, fans? I think it's just some random guy. Okay. I'm not going to risk it, so yeah, you can find the episodes on YouTube, I guess. I'm not sure why I'm watching them on this site then, but whatever. And uh, <laughs> Well, that's some, some bad planning on my part. So hopefully the sync up will be okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just for the record, I'm watching it on KimCartoon.me. Uh, so if the you need the greatest to... website name, yeah. So if you need to sync it up properly, um, this is probably going to be the place to go. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started on episode one. These are very short. I have no idea how many we're going to do, and hopefully we will actually do the uh, countdown properly here. So, am I am I starting the countdown this time again? I guess so. Yeah. And just right. hit, and everybody, including the viewers, will be hitting play when we say go. All right, three, two, one, go. I just love how the immediately. Immediately, you can tell that it's going to be shit. The very beginning of this episode sets it up so well. Reminds me of uh, Dr. McNinja in, like, Cumber... Is it, like, Cumberton, Maryland? Or so? It's just, like, this <laughs> really generic city that... That these... That the protagonist just ends up in. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he do that? Uh, he, he's very nasty. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Feline AIDS. Feline AIDS from a man. So this was a show on TV. Yes, it has two seasons. Both of which are available on DVD. Foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> what is that sound effect? This is like the 3D equivalent of 12 ounce mouse. <laughs> it, it really is. I've I've always like pictured it as uh, Jimmy Neutron 
but before they finish the animation. It, yeah, it's like it's like Jimmy Nutrin or <laughs> yeah, it's or what's higher the... budget Jimmy Nutrin. It, it, it's basically just like a uh, what do you call it? Um, a Gary's Mod video, but like or source slightly filmmaker. more professional. Yeah. Why does she look like Jeanette McCurdy? <laughs> or from a I'm distance, pretty sure most of the uh, the models for the people were just taken from random sites. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, so his he was raised by a silver person, or not raised, yes. but born to a silver person. <laughs> and he had a very rough childhood, as you can clearly see. Apparently. So I'm not sure it... God, stop doing that. <laughs> so I'm not sure if he's giving me more of a bird person vibe, or, like, just Duke Nukem with the voice. Like <laughs> Duke Nukem and bird person had a baby, and this is the result. And also a snake arm. Yeah. He just needs to have Patrick Duffy as a leg. <laughs> snake arm is a character. Oh, good. He has his own little personality. Those are some deep secrets. Is he echoing or... He... Random words that come out of his mouth will echo sometimes, and it's supposed to add emphasis to them. Is that but why the just... title is What Life da da doth Yeah, except it just makes it harder to understand what he's saying. Good. What? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I love this guy so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <gasps> oh, is this bad? Apparently. <laughs> He's doing it again. God damn it. <laughs> I can't tell if this is still, like, a cold opening, or if this is just the episode. Like, I feel like any moment now it's gonna cut to, like, a theme song, but it's been going on for way too long. <laughs> like, the, theme, the theme song for this show is very quick. I don't think it's actually in the first episode, but later episodes, they'll, ha they'll have a scene that I guess you could call an opening. Chomsky honk. <laughs> Don't ban pooters, boy. I like how they're still displaying stuff when they're not even plugged into anything. And underwater. 
Okay. Low poly butt. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely low poly butt. And then it got worse. <laughs> I was I was going to th say for a second it's like the Rick and Morty virtual reality episode and then no it just got dumber. So <laughs> This did it 10 years before Rick and Morty. They ripped it off. Wait, did he say crack was a disease? <laughs> yes, and it was created by the US Army. I like the Bin Laden poster, too. <laughs> There's a lot of background elements in the show. which You makes say, me... and then we get to a scene where the background was made in, like, two seconds. Okay. There's very few background elements in the show. And when but they there are, are they some. Are I'm just, I'm speechless. Like <laughs> that. That's Wait, how that I was. When I, that was. That was him disintegrating. But from I've heard AIDS. that sound, and I'm trying to think what it was from now. I don't know. This town's gone Bowser. Hey, Xavier, how do you type with snake hand? <laughs> I didn't think we'd get any more low poly. Oh, they found a way. The hell did he just pull out of the dog? Uh, you'll find out. It's the notes he's not playing. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Dramatic monologue. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, did he just get shot? Uh, yes. And that's the end of the episode. And then there was whatever that thing was. Okay. That... Oh god. Thank you, okay. William Street. Yeah, that's William Street, alright. Yeah. Jesus Christ, okay. It, it really, um, it, it, so what did you think of the first episode? It definitely, uh... Didn't teach me much. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, it'll get even more confusing as we go on. I expect. But yeah, I, I mean, I've I've seen 
plenty of stupid Adult Swim shows. Like, I, I like Aqua Teen Hunger Force and Sea Lab oh, yeah. and that kind of stuff. And I even did watch a little bit of 12 Ounce Mouse before I determined that it was complete garbage. Um, this one, I, th I think I was very vaguely aware of it, but I don't think I ever saw it. Maybe I, I saw like I a couple like minutes. Like I said, I only ever saw it whenever they were airing it at like 4 a.m. to fill space. So they would just play random episodes. God. Alright, I'm loading up the next one. I'm gonna All pause right. it so I can buffer, though. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess we'll do a few more of those then. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like I'm not gonna have much to add to these, unfortunately. But there's really not much you could add. Like, I, I feel the show is able to speak for itself, except not. Yeah, not really. I don't know. But yeah, it, it, I, I'm guessing it would be really helpful for whoever's watching to actually be following along and not just listening to the audio for this. Well, yeah, because I've I've done that a couple times with uh, Let's Watches. I just like put the audio on in the background and like play the game. Oh, I can't even imagine what that would be like unless it's all, like a movie that you're already really familiar with. True. But, I guess we'll go ahead and start the next one, then. All right. I'll do the uh, countdown again. Okay. Unless you want to do the honors. Uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> so. Such a privilege. Yes. All right. Uh, you ready, then? Yep. If you are not ready, you the kind of viewer, then you should pause and get ready. Like, what the hell? But no. Um. Okay. Come on, viewer. Get, get your head in the game. All right. Three, two, one, go. So I guess this is just the opening, then? It's a different monologue every time, though. Oh. <laughs> Did he just say hail? Hail. Are these the same assholes from the first episode? I think the one on the left is from the first episode, but the one on the right isn't. <laughs> oh. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's a strong <laughs> mosquito. We're like a minute in and already like, it's getting ramped up to 11. There's the opening. Oh, it I was it. like half of a second. <laughs> and it gets later and later in the show as we go on. In regards to the whole like watching it at four in the morning and questioning existence, um, <laughs> I've not really had that same experience myself with other shows, though I have stayed up way later than I would like for certain things, usually with Adult Swim. Um, I used to stay up until 5 to watch Freakazoid um, when I was younger, too. But, um... What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I could be your costume. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I think the one thing that I ever, like, either fell asleep to or woke up to that could qualify... Also, I like the Confederate flag there. Um, it was, uh, in the... Do you remember O Canada? Oh, what was... That was, uh... Yeah, it was like on Cartoon Network, like this collection of really weird Canadian cartoons. Yeah. 
Um, there was one that was like this black fly song about like this swarm of flies that basically destroys everything in its path. And I like fell asleep and it and like incorporated itself into my dream somehow. And like oh it, it was the weirdest thing. And so like if I ever hear that song again, it's just the weirdest thing for me. See, I, I don't remember my dreams, like, at all, and I feel like this show has has sort of, like, the credit for making me forget all of my dreams. <laughs> because I feel like they were they just became so fucked up that my brain was just like, okay, you can you cannot remember these now. Like, I almost hate to talk over it, but at the same time, I'm more amused by the shitty animation and the weird <laughs> things happening than the dialogue. The dialogue is actually pretty... I don't want to say well-written, but fun to listen to. Yeah. But the, the shitty quality of the animation kind of trumps it. It's a much funner show to watch with, like, a group than it is to, like, sit down and watch by yourself. Wait, what? <laughs> so he's going to die. Oh, and there just goes an arm. <laughs> <laughs> so does he have like six nipples or what's going on there yeah that six nipples and that comes into play in a later episode oh good yes i think it's actually the next one no it's not All right, so he was on the toilet eating Fruit Loops when a cop burst in and told him that his mother died, and then he farted. I mean, that's a that's, good memory. I, I feel, I feel farting is a pretty good uh, reaction to being told your mom's dead. I also feel like this is the kind of show where it's like, even though I talked over dialogue earlier and have no idea what's going on, I'm not really missing out on the experience. The the character actions definitely give remove any need for explanation or reasoning. Because he, he just took the tattoo of, <laughs> I don't even know what that's called, off his head and gave it to Xavier, and it doesn't yeah. even fit on his head. It just clips through it. <laughs> <laughs> so what did they do they painted the entire town white oh, as okay. their gang tag if you're having trouble following he's trying to He's trying to... Oh, those water physics. <laughs> it's just dipping dots. But he, he's trying to <laughs> turn this gang into a community support group. For some reason. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I 
I like the uh, offensive Mexican accents. It's great. Maybe not offensive, but incredibly stereotypical. Yeah, and exaggerated. I'm just waiting for the Oh, Dios mío. <laughs> Ay, mijo. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what what happened there? Uh He dumped his wife. But why was there like a riff? It, uh it's a sitcom apparently. I'm waiting for Snake Arm to come into play. It'll take a little bit. I guess the writers hadn't fully uh, defined Snake Arm as a character. <laughs> is it actually just named Snake Arm? Uh, I, th I believe its name is actually Snake Hand. Oh, okay. And it doesn't speak English. <clears throat> Shiny. Since Truman. Since Truman. I also like how his, uh, like, I don't even know what you'd. Okay, hold on, what? <laughs> That's shiny. I, I was gonna say just how, like, the thing on his hair keeps clipping through his shoulder, but... <laughs> sure, you can! Well, that was anticlimactic. A little bit. And I like the stocked squeaking sound effects too. <laughs> up, up! Here comes the eggs. See, it happened for a reason. Just like in the movie Signs. That was. I, I don't know what to think of Signs. I know it's completely off subject, but I just randomly thought of that. Oh. The end. So, that was a very, uh, Ryo Shenron ending. <laughs> it really was. Like, Billy visit him grandpappy, and then it just ends with a dinosaur. Oh my god. I think we can just go ahead and go on to the next episode. I think everything we've said yeah. sums up what we watched. Just go ahead, load it up, pause it, all that crap. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember which episode this is. I'm hoping it's the one I think it is. I guess we'll find if out. it is, it's a very good one. All right. I'll do the countdown this time. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Did the fit in the fit? <laughs> I love how the sound just cuts. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What 
the hell is this? <laughs> He's suddenly ableist now. Meanwhile, very loud fridge noises. <laughs> not sure if that was picked up on the mic or not. I didn't hear it. What's cranberry sauce? I have no idea. What? what? I've never heard those sound effects before in the background. What, like the random horse noise and stuff? Yeah. What's... I see this episode going down great territory. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Why did he say peep show? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, what the hell? <laughs> this is uh, how Christian science works, right? Probably. What was that now? I'd like to see this guy pray an abortion. I see. Why is there just the Mona Lisa in the background? I think that's supposed to be Jesus, but it really does look like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the hell? How can the dad not see that? Oh my god, that was amazing. By life, you mean, like, a liver. <laughs> Fierce. Fierce. <clears throat> Life. <laughs> what is this enunciation? <laughs> I don't know why he's such a horrible person this episode. Yeah, he's kind of just relentless. <laughs> the backwards knees are very weird to watch. They used to bother me a lot when I first watched this show. Now it's the beak. Because the beak isn't part of his mouth, it's just his yeah, nose. Yeah, it's just there. Bobby's mom and Bobby's legs. 
dramatic bakery. Ew. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's with the zoom in? <laughs> it's important. It might come back later. The liver's getting bigger. What? Oh, the yeah. liver is getting bigger. Good. I like the animation on that explosion there. It reminds me of GameCube Dreamcast era. That was quick. <laughs> this show does not waste any time. It's a metaphor for consumerism? I'm noticing these animations are very Sonic 06-esque. Oh, oh my god, they are. But let's be real, this, game, this, this show looks better than Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> In some aspects, maybe. For these cakes. That's an odd thing to say. <laughs> just, just keep repeating it. I love how sporadic the movement of on this car is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the episode has just turned into a YouTube poop. That's a good looking lake. It's just a puddle of silver. Just kind of eating cake there. <laughs> How do you stab an explosion?
Yeah, yeah, the dialogue <laughs> is definitely worth listening to. Yeah. I'm sad that I talked over so much of it last time. And, and it's time, over. This... <laughs> At the same time, though, this is like a commentary over it, so we're going to have to talk over some of the dialogue. Oh, my God. <laughs> Was that the one you were hoping for? Yeah, yes, it was. It was exactly what I was hoping for. <clears throat> yeah, that one was pretty good. Yeah, I my the does anyone know how to get to the lake <laughs> was one it was the funniest thing when I was like thirteen. It's the thing. Oh. It, it's it's a combination of like a YouTube poop and if Bargo the Big Dip was given animation. <laughs> Like, <laughs> it, just random shit happening. Yeah, no like, I, I, was, I was thinking of that because there was a character called Explosion that was just a constant explosion in Bargo the Big Dip, and <laughs> like it, it just it fits so well. The sixth teat of good intentions. Mm, oh, this is this is the uh, this is the one I was talking about with his six nipples. Yeah. The, this one is uh, very, very disturbing for anyone who has children. Oh. Yes. I don't want to spoil anything, but it gets a. Uh, it, it it bothers me still. Okay. I've, yeah. So, do you want to do the countdown this time? I suppose. All right. Starting three, two, one, go. Fate. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> that shouldn't have been funny. It's just the delivery. <clears throat> oh, stick hand. So what's going on with the dialogue there? It's like making a noise, and then very quickly you hear the voice. The, like, yeah, Snake Hand speaks in want wants, mm -hmm. like in a uh, fuck. What is that show? Like Peanuts. Yeah, in, like in Peanuts, and then they have a translator come in and say what he said in English. Good. <laughs> Corn. <laughs> and he just hits a dog and explodes. Why did it come out of his leg? That's a good transition. It wasn't at all. <laughs> so why did he take the kids? He thought the mom abandoned them there. Even though she just took one to the slide right next to all of them. Was this a voice record? Like, was th was he speaking backwards and then they reversed it? That's that's what it sounds like. Cause, like, to do the effect where you speak, where it sounds like you have like, you speak backwards before you speak normal. You have to like, reverse, then add echo, and then reverse again. And 
don't put marbles in your nose. Put them in there. Do not put them in there. <laughs> Tragedy, ain't it? <laughs> They really love that sound effect of yeah. that voice clip of her saying that. Why do they keep doing that? <laughs> Is there a laugh track? Yes, there's a laugh track with Snake Hand. So it's just in his arm. Yes. So, somehow he has a whole digestive system in his left arm. The clipping. Oh. <laughs> that, can, that can happen, right? Yeah. This is leg. <laughs> oh <laughs> that went in a direction I wasn't expecting and really quickly <laughs> of course because this show moves at a mile a minute they've only got 11 minutes yeah so is he actually trying to find the six babies like, does he not yes, realize? Yes, he doesn't know that the six babies he stole were that lady's. Or seven, but now one of them is dead. Well, yeah. I'm guessing six the babies six and one dead. that he ate. Oh, they're not dead. Good thing they all just stayed in the nest. <laughs> God damn it, Snake Hand. <laughs> Christ. What is she doing? She's painting Y all over the walls. With a chicken. With a chicken. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
The animation there, what was that? <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah. Probably the, the only sh and then snake eats him. Okay. Law hammer. Bowling pins? Okay. Wait, what did it say? She needed face work and to get her butt did. I see. <laughs> Forgotten headline <Don't>... replaced. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it start rapping? <laughs> he is reborn. But the babies weren't. Uh, nope. just very slowly meanders through glass. <laughs> so, so yeah, you can see what, what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah that the, was pretty bad. Yeah, this show goes places that it should not go. I mean, it very obviously doesn't take itself seriously, so you can't no, get too mad at yeah, it. Yeah, it's not actually... It's not expecting you to take it serious about baby eating. But at the same time, no other network would have allowed a show involving a yeah. man stealing a bunch of babies and then eating them. Probably not. I've, I'm trying to think if South Park ever did anything that bad. There was the, uh, I made you eat your parents episode. <laughs> I'm sure South Park would have done it more graphically, though. Probably. With... What do you think's better animated? This or South Park? Uh... God, I don't know. South Park the... is shitty looking, but it's intentionally so. This one is also shitty looking, but intentionally so, but it's like, this one, like, in, like, I don't know, because this show has, like, the weird clipping and stuff, it, like, it, it, it includes the animation glitches. Yeah, it's, it's so, like, they intentionally did something by accident, like, they, they it's just, like, they, they messed it up and then just didn't bother to fix it, whereas yeah. with South Park, it's, it has a style, but it sticks with it and stays consistent i guess like i don't know yeah I, I i it's been a little bit since i've watched south park but i don't i don't remember any real animation errors just that it kind of looked like just generally crappy yeah all right well now we've got pet suicide spelled yeah like oddly the, like the indian tribe i f i'm not sure what this one is 
All right, well, let's let's see what the hell we're in for now. <laughs> All right. I'll do the countdown. Doesn't matter. All right. Three, two, one, go. What? Pepper! I have no idea what's happening in that scene. <laughs> it's just <laughs> the spirits. Wait, what What was that in the background? That was the logo for the show. Oh, okay. The fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Why do you say the things that you say? <laughs> Giuseppe's ye old. I didn't get to read that. Kevin, come quick. I've managed to splice the DNA of a chipmunk with provolone cheese. <laughs> this is a small crowd. Yeah, it was like four guys. He doesn't have a very good imagination. Why are they dancing? I don't know. <laughs> Just kind of in constant motion. So, did he just give away his money to imagination? Yes. His imagination. Daddy, can I have a slice of candy? Please, sir, can I have some more? <clears throat> Personally, I like the electric snail. That's a stupid animal. You're stupid. <laughs> and he just kind of Th falls. This scene really is similar to that from Futurama. Except without the 500 lizards. I like the 500 lizards. <laughs> Girls like swarms of things. What's the mugging? Like... <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Just throwing random little explosives at him. Another flashback. <laughs> Hold this board doesn't even touch the board. 
Chief is one of the best characters in the show. Oh, the animation. <laughs> it, it, this reminds me of those, I don't know if you've ever done one, at like arcades, those big like roller coaster simulations. Oh, God. That's what that scene just reminded me of with them like coming down the, the stairs. How is he licking? I don't know. I'm scared. Turdlet. This fucking kid. <laughs> I want to play it. It's called Mario Twins. <laughs> its voice didn't even change. Oh my god, its legs. Ah. How is this working? Uh, Xavier is a Wahaku Mana healer. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, the, the first two animals there actually looked fairly realistic, and then it got so bad. <laughs> brain. <laughs> I can't tell what's happening. <laughs> Why is he all like orange now? Because he, he went through suffering in his mind. Think of some kids. Some kids. The show's about to take a massive turn right now, by the way. Oh. Why does he sound like a redneck? That's what people who own casinos sound like. I see. The sad thing is, I could actually see this being a commercial. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty accurate.
Was that a sentence? <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? Now they're being attacked by blood Indians. Okay. So, I'm... I'm it's moving too fast. I can't tell yeah. if this is actually happening or if this is just in his head. I I think the whole show is just in 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 our heads. For all we know, we're not actually watching a show. Yeah. That running. <laughs> so you said the show was going to take a turn. What did you mean by that? The well, I remember the uh, the casino part lasting longer. Because I I was going I I guess the show takes turns all the time. Like every. Five seconds. <laughs> Every other happening. sentence is is a. Ugh, I love it. The next the next episode is one of my favorites, though. World of Hurt, BC. Yes. Followed by Bloodcorn. <laughs> Bloodcorn is also very good. Every every episode's good. <clears throat> no, right. no, it's not. There, there's a couple later on, which we probably won't get to today, if we keep going. Uh, yeah, I'm not, not sure how many good. I plan on doing. I can do a few more, though. Yeah, we, we've been going for, like, what, 45 minutes now, or maybe more, I'm not it's, sure. It's uh, been about an hour and eight minutes. Yeah, an hour and eight, alright. Alright, so, let's go ahead and start episode six. Well, actually, first, let's, let's take a second and recap. <laughs> so, episode one had... What, what life f- did doth? What even happened in that one? Okay, so he goes to remember. Burberry, Connecticut, and meets some locals. Oh, who... oh yeah, that that was the one with the weird like virtual reality yeah. shitty low poly stuff. Where they then beat him had... up. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just trying to think of like the main events. So we had that one. Second episode, we had like trying to reform a gang of Mexicans, and. Some and then there was like mosquitoes. some beef pl- plot with a dude in the sewer. I don't even remember. <laughs> then we had um, the living the, explosion, yeah, and also like explosion. creating life, and I don't even Out know of what coconut and green stuff. Yeah. Then we had eating babies, and then we had some random spoiled rich kid and bl- Indians made of blood. So where do you where do you think it'll go next? What do you think World of Hurt BC will be about? Well, probably something with dinosaurs or cavemen, given the BC thing. Um, yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna guess that like. Oh yeah, I forgot. We also had the mosquito that like <laughs> laid eggs in his brain. So I've got to just think of something that has nothing to do with anything. So we're gonna have like an owl that gets electrocuted and turns into grass, which is then, like, eaten by the dinosaur, which causes it to transport to modern day and, like, start a pyramid scheme. Like, that, that's not a bad guess. You you could have said anything and it would have been a good guess. It's just... <laughs> so, let, let's, let's see what we got. All right. Three, two... One, go. It is slightly different this time. (laughs) Okay. What? What? (laughs) God damn it. (laughs) 
The episode hasn't even started, and I don't, already don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's that's the computer in his head. <laughs> that's how that works. Chinaman. <laughs> That's a very specific group of people. I didn't even hear what he was saying. What the hell? <laughs> I like how he just kind of touched it with snake hand and it it, it, it came with it, him. It floats between his hands. <clears throat> it's not even he could probably just walk normally under it. Yeah. I liked the lack of lip movements. <laughs> Just keep repeating it. <laughs> and there's just that thing again. I love that the the pile of cigarettes and bacon looks like they just photoshopped it in. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> What's with the Chinaman stuff? <laughs> How do cavemen know what China Chinamen are? God damn it, narrator, why? What the fuck did that mean? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who the hell wrote this show? <laughs> I believe it only has four people total who made this show.
Sand magnets or sand madness? Sand madness. And now he's just in her back. <laughs> there was the opening. What is that silver thing? <laughs> it, it looks like, um, Ammonite to me. Kind of. It just keeps just, showing up. Just coated in, like, metal paint. Those animals looked like puppets or something. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what was going on there. Is it sad that I saw that ring of rocks and I was immediately thinking it was a Korok puzzle? <laughs> yes, that is very sad. Why is the game making itself a YouTube poop? I call it a game, but you know what I mean. It looks like a game. Just writing with the feather on a stone <laughs> with it. Okay. Stop saying Googa Booga, damn it. <laughs> He's a caveman, he can't help it. Like, not even the Banjo Tooie cavemen were this bad. <laughs> What was the animation there? <laughs> they they were too lazy to reanimate the scene, so they just played it back in like Adobe <laughs> Premiere. <laughs> Oh, that was all the puke? Yes. Oh, no, we got to do a little bit more. Who? I have no idea. Are you going to have to eat the puke now? Yes. He already had enough bacon in his system to go back in time 100 years. Okay, hold on. This is a magic eye. Oh, I bet it is. It is. I can't tell what it is though. It looked kind of like a skull. A skull? I gotta. I gotta go back and pause that. Hold on. Ah, oh, I don't have it full screen. <clears throat> Wait, is this the first episode with credits? Yeah, actually, I'm not sure why. The credits are like nothing special though. I do like how they're casting a shadow though. 
I, they were like animated in the 3D scene in the program or something. Yeah, probably. Alright, next is Bloodcorn. I'm being distracted by a weird noise. Hold on. I don't know what the hell that is. It sounds like there's... Like, something either squeaking or buzzing over in the corner. I guess I'll ignore it for right now. If I die because of, like, a wasp or something, we'll know why. We'll, I'll, we'll have video evidence of you dying. Yeah. Okay, so before we start the next episode, what the fuck happened in that one? <laughs> he gave okay. his face to, like, a silver snail thing, and then I don't even know what happened. Like, So, like, I'm pretty sure that whole episode was a hallucination that he got whenever he started eating sand because he was <laughs> really hungry from being in the desert forever. Yeah. And, he, spoiler, he never really gets out of the desert. Okay. Every episode starts and... Almost every episode ends with the desert. Fair enough. Okay, so blood corn. I'm. What do you What do you think this one's gonna be about? See, it's it just it immediately makes me think of the blood Indians, but uh... they wouldn't pull the same thing twice, would they? No, and there was also the uh, the truck of corn that exploded. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm not even gonna try to theorize this one. All right, we'll just get right in there then. Three, two, one, go. Hello, Gandhi. like a frame of something. I couldn't tell what that was. There's another one. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Stuff. Ugh, the legs. Uh-oh. I forgot about this part. I'm afraid now. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> I like how the water texture is just garbage. <laughs> and it never stops waving around people. <laughs> Suddenly animation. And okay animation. Yeah. <laughs> now it's bad. <laughs> yep, there it goes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what 
What? <laughs> oh my god. What is even happening? <laughs> is this still him like jerking off in the shower? Like I I think I think it's been a couple days at least. I swear there's a cookie company that has made like that kind of commercial where they they were like, "Whoa, we messed up and made the chocolate chips blue or something." Mm, probably. I mean, there are there is like the oops all berries for crunch berries. Oh, that like might that. be what I'm thinking of. Are her hands, like, really hairy? <laughs> I have no idea. I, I would love to know what's going on. It, it's a commercial. Why do you need to know what's going on? So, uh, but, like, he was... He, he was in the waterfall, and then, like, garbage, and then I don't know what happened. I think that might have been just filler. Like, they somehow, like, didn't use up all 11 minutes, so they just threw something together at the beginning. Like, I don't even remember how it transitioned to whatever's happening now. It went to, like, that black screen with a bunch of text about oh, yeah. something stupid, and then that that picture of a African child. What is it with Adult Swim and dying African kids? <laughs> there was a joke about that on C-Lab, too. I, th I think they're trying to tell us something. Meanwhile... <laughs> Jobs. Five hots, and then I don't even know what it was after that, because I was just trying to figure out what that meant. And it's gone. <laughs> okay. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Joel walked in on this. <laughs> I, I bet he's seen something magical. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. I, I was trying really hard to figure out why you have a microphone wedged in your face when you're watching something. I can't even tell what this is. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have to discuss it later. Wait a second. I recognize that guy. <laughs> Did you also watch this show at 3 in the morning and have, like, <laughs> drug dreams because of it? Is this an adult swim show? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of how easily you can tell. I totally forgot that this existed. <laughs> I didn't understand it when I saw it, and I don't understand it now.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> As with every other episode, like, got a little bit, uh, missed a little bit of the explanation there, but I don't think there was really much of one in the first place, so. No, not really. They just sat around in a cornfield arguing until he shot a gun in the air. Where, why does this poor farmer have a flamethrower? It's, uh, it's just normal farm equipment. Oh, okay. This is now the second episode to involve popcorn. And also the second one to involve blood. Yes. Oh, and now we've got trees. Nature is alive! Oh, no. <laughs> The rest of the episode will just be in, re in Virtual Boy Vision. Han de Cramp. I like how they're not even really using the clubs. <laughs> they're just punching them. I like how those actually were relevant to the plot this time. <laughs> well, okay, we shot a bunch <laughs> of tampons into the sky. Problem solved. <laughs> they just kind of got stuck up there, presumably. Also, I'm pretty sure you can't stop, uh bullet wounds from bleeding with tampons. Apparently that's what they were originally designed for. Really? Live. Oh, back to this animation now. God, this fucking show. <laughs> yeah, I think oh. I'm going to be done for now. Yeah, it, it's definitely a show that's hard to watch in one sitting, or even two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, I guess we can do more of these in another section. S section. I was trying to say session there, but I don't even know. Yep. Yeah, I... I don't really have any closing thoughts on this one. I've, I've said everything I can. It, it really is just Bargo the Big Dip given animation. Like the animation that is probably worse than given what you could have done in MS Paint. Quotes, yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is this show? <laughs> it, it still baffles me that they were able to get this on TV and onto and onto DVDs. In yeah. stores, like yeah. there, there are there are a ton of shows that are better than this that have not been fully released on DVD. Again, this is the channel that brought us Twelve Ounce Mouse. <sighs> I bet that has like a full Blu-ray collection by now. Probably. All right, but yeah, um, I guess like I said, we might do another one of these at some point. Uh, for now, I must bid you adieu. Yes. Or adieu. Haldo, wait. Sh should we end awkwardly? Very.